We are back in Vegas. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Some fantastic motorcycles. Case in point, the one on the block right now. This is an Indian 4, 1929. Look at this. Stephen previewed, for, uh, previewed it for us a little while ago. It is absolutely stunning, guys. Paul, Paul is a guy that has always admired aesthetics, technology on engines. How astonishing was it in the late 1920s that Indian could produce a production motorcycle like this? <laughs> well, Indian uh, didn't design this, actually. They bought the Ace Motorcycle Company designs. That was uh, William Henderson, who's kind of the grandfather of the American four-cylinder industry, even though Pierce was the first to, well, they redesigned an FN. William Henderson designed his own motor that became Henderson. He sold his design to Schwinn. It became Excelsior Henderson. He didn't like working for Schwinn, so he started another company called Ace. He didn't infringe on any of the patents he had sold to Schwinn, and... Unfortunately, he died in 1922 on a test ride, and this Ace design changed hands a couple of times, and then Indian bought it in about 1927, and immediately started selling the Indian Ace, and this 1929 model is the first version that Indian really started to change the motor. They put five bearings on the crankshaft. Very neat bike. Well, that one from 1929 just brought $125,000, and that is good enough for our second uh, highest selling motorcycle of the day today here in Las Vegas. We are already at $100,000 on this 39 uh, Indian 4. This is part, both of these bikes are part of the Bob and Dolva Mitchell collection, one of more than 20 collections overall here in Vegas at this event. Paul, we're going to jump up right. 10 years now. We're going to stay within the Indian four-cylinder family and jump up 10 years. How much commonality between that 29 no, be is there with this 1939? No, well, actually, none. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because that was the original, based on the Ace motor, or sorry, the, uh, yeah, the Ace motor. Indian redesigned the motor in 36, called the Upside Down 4. Nobody liked it. They redesigned it again in 38, and this is the last iteration of the Indian four-cylinder motor. It's fully enclosed rockers. You'll see all that finning. It's a beautiful, beautiful bike. I talked about it earlier, the sweeping fenders, the World's Fair paint scheme. What a beauty. I know Bob Mitchell. He used to be the head of the Cassini uh, uh, space program at NASA. So, oh, yeah. I sold him a Breath Superior SS100, which is also coming up for sale. Oh, oh my goodness. No $145,000. The pre auction estimate on this bike published $95,000 to $125,000, by the well, way. Well, for the day today, I just got done telling you that that previous bike uh, made it into the top two. That's our new number one $145,000.